Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Bupesh once again for you all. Please subscribe our channel if you have not and listen to this video or any video of this channel till then you will definitely learn a lot of things to pass your OIT exam in one shot. And for the best OIT coaching, contact us on 7696734256. So it's a very simple letter, but yeah, one of our uh, candidates have asked me to do this writing. So I'm doing it for you all. And it's a very simple letter and I'm just going to take 10 minutes total to resolve this. First of all, when you are writing a letter, always remember the most important thing is to whom you are writing the letter. So in this case, we are writing the letter to Dr. Blackway. So that is the main thing. Because if we are writing to physiotherapist, then ambulation is very important. If we are writing to psychiatrist, in that case, counseling is very important. Mental problems are very important. So it is according to this person because we are writing letter to Dr. David Blackway. So my whole data would be selected according to doctor now. So designation of the person is very important to whom I am writing the letter. So I'm writing the letter to doctor. The registrar at the Mount Barker Community Hospital, uh, Princess Road, Mount Barker requesting urgent ad admission. That means I want an urgent admission for a person, for a person in the Mount Barker Community Hospital. So there is a com, there should be a coma which is missing. So they are talking about a hospital which is on the Princess Road. Mount Barker is the name of the area. Suppose if I say uh, Dr. BKM Institutes, Main Road, Phase 11, Mohali. So this is like Phase 11. Mount Barker is the name of the area. So jo phase, jase PGI, jo bhi hospitals hote hai, wo us, us area ke jase agar we go to UK in that Elizabeth Community Center means that area most probably is going to be in Elizabeth. If we say Edgebaston Cricket Stadium, Edgebaston is one of the areas. So that is what it is all about. Mount Barker may patient ko bhejne. So main is the discharge plan. Discharge plan is the purpose. But purpose we have got in this letter anyhow from here. Urgent admission. So I would like to know why urgent admission. So urgent admission can be traced from here because this is the purpose of the letter always. So the two most important thing of letter by reading those two things, you can make first and the last paragraph, which are the most important paragraphs, this purpose. And then this is the last paragraph purpose in detail. Both are purpose. Last paragraph may purpose detail me jata hai or first paragraph may purpose normal. Patient needs to be urgently rehydrated. So patient needs urgent admission for hydration, rehydration. That means it is definite that patient is having dehydration. Ye to pakka pata lag jata hai. Possibly IV glucose drip se rehydration chahiye. May be infectious, need to be isolated until the cause of outbreak is determined. So the patient needs to be isolated. So we are telling, we are requesting the doctor that our patient needs to be rehydrated. He needs to be isolated as he may be infectious. Medication needs to be continued, doctor. Exercise with walking frame needs to be encouraged after infection under control, doctor. That means once the infection gets under control, patient will stay there until the infection gets under control at our nursing home. So we are one of the nursing home. Until the infection gets control at the nursing home, patient should not return. Cannot nahi, patient should not return. So cannot means a nahi sakta. Obviously, but when we will write, we will say should not return. So that is what we can tell doctor. So if we, if we can see this uh, scenario, most important point is this. We can tell this to doctors. Doctors are please do the urgent rehydration. This is important. Infectious. This is important. Medication needs to be. This is important. Exercise with walking frame. This is not very important. This, this is a please note that patient should patient cannot return doctor sub or patient should not return until the infection gets under control. This we can say this is our wish, but this point is not the most important point, but this point is very important. So that is what we need to understand in OET. According to doctor, this is the most important point, urgent rehydration. This is the most important point why we need urgent admission. So now let's, when you read these two paragraphs, you have already found the purpose. Let's see if I have to write the purpose. 
my purpose is already ready i just need to know the patient's name my purpose is already ready if i tell you my purpose is already ready let me show you i just need the name of the patient mr bird newton age 92 who has been living in avonmore nursing home so we are from avonmore nursing home mount barker and we are sending the patient to mount barker hospital that is what you need to understand patient is living in community nursing home in our nursing home sorry avonmore nursing home mount barker is the area so we are sending the patient in the same area hospital of the same area please see it hospital of the same area mount barker for that so he has been living with us since last 5 years there has been an outbreak of suspected salmonella poisoning so we are suspecting it it is not sure so that is why in the end it has been said that patient cannot return unless the infection is in control so unless the infection gets under control and the infection may be of salmonella poisoning may be means suspected so patient may be infectious needs to be isolated until the cause so that is why everything is related in oit as it is not 100% that it is salmonella poisoning that is why it is given that until the cause of outbreak is determined if it is a diagnosed thing salmonella poisoning agar ye diagnosis hota to outbreak determination hame pata hota to patient ko isolate karna uske hisab se hota so this is a very simple letter ma'am very simple letter agar dekho mujhe if i have to write the first paragraph i have to write it in this simple way this letter understanding the letter for 5 minutes in the first 5 minutes they will not let you use your pencils so understand the letter so i have understood the letter this letter purpose is being written regarding mrs uh, mr newton who has been please understand the tenses who has been living jo reh raha hai who has been living in our nursing home since last 5 years now he is suspected with simple again use your simple language now he is suspected with salmonella poisoning due to which this is the main thing he is suspected with this due to which he is dehydrated how do i know dehydrated that is why he is going going for hydration so please do not mention too much of timings make it very simple very simple so dehydration therefore he is being referred yet transferred therefore he is being referred under your expertise doctor ko keh raha hu main i am telling the doctor on urgent basis on for urgent rehydration see how simple this is the first paragraph this is the first paragraph that is what is the whole and the soul of the letter this letter is being written regarding mr newton who has been living in our nursing home since last 5 years so this is present perfect continuous has been ing since so last now he is suspected with salmonella poisoning due to which he is dehydrated due to which he is having dehydration having word got missed due to which he is having dehydration therefore he is being referred under your expertise for urgent khatam last paragraph would also be lagbhag the same it would be greatly appreciated if you could rehydrate him urgently there is a question mark that has been given there is a question mark if you will realize there is a question mark that has been given possibly with iv glucose drip if you could rehydrate him urgently maybe with or you can say possibly with there is no problem possibly with i would glucose drip 
that is how simple oh it is first and last paragraph are almost this is in a concise way in a brief way this is in an explained way second point patient may be infectious as as means kyuki kyuki as the patient maybe maybe as the patient may be infectious this is what i always say jab bhi koi sentence as se shuru when there is any sentence that starts with as then it can never end without so as the patient may be infectious so he needs to be isolated this is passive voice should be isolated b plus third form passive voice therefore doctor saab he needs to be isolated as he may be infectious until the cause of outbreak is determined make it simple simple yahi to that is why oet is oetr it is such an easy test same no word change same blood pressure as may medication need to be continued same blood pressure and those medications need to be continued as per prescription otherwise you can miss this line you can miss this line kyunki doctor ko pata hi hai but hum batana chahte hain ki the patient is having these two problems so blood pressure ya fir you can simply agar aap better likhna chahte ho he is having blood pressure and other medications which need to be continued as per the prescription which need to be continued as per prescription how simple no hanky panky no requirement of doing anything difficult exercise with walking frame needs to be encouraged after infection control this is not very important until please note make it very simple i am just trying to make it simple for you please note please note that the patient should not return unless cause of infection is determined now when you can what you can do one thing what you can do better in oet you are telling a doctor please note it is better to say sir it is requested this is where you can be better it is requested that the patient should not return unless the cause of infection is determined and unless the unless the infection gets under control so that i can request the doctor it is it is requested that the patient should so that is where i can do better this is how simple oh it is so i i told the doctor sir i need urgent rehydration for him he may be infectious so needs to be isolated he is having blood pressure and other medications which need to be continued it is requested that the patient should and the difficult and again the best thing about oet the most difficult lines are never required exercise with walking frame needs to be encouraged after infection that doctor knows yaar sun will assist with the exercise not very important you can write it i am not saying you should not write it but but you can avoid it doctor ko pata hi hai doctor already knows about it now the letter has become very simple now you want to give because you are sending the patient to doctor's hospital and you are writing to the registrar so you want to tell about this person you want to tell about this person so you can use any of this thing has one daughter who lives in visits frequently he has alzheimer so this is very important he has alzheimer for two years does not rec recognize so this is what doctor needs to know mr newton simple whatever the name is is having alzheimer disease so i just want to give information now to the doctor disease so he does not recognize anyone ya aap pehle pehle ye bata sakte ho is a widower for past 10 years lives nearby son and daughter who lives in manborn visits infrequently infrequently means rarely frequently means more often and infrequently means rarely 
He has Alzheimer's disease for two years, does not recognize anyone. So first I should write, Mr. Newton is having one son and a daughter, a son and a daughter who, who visit infrequently. No, visit. Son, to aata hoga. son would be coming on the regular basis, I guess. One son who lives nearby. Yeah, son lives nearby. So I can't say because this is what are the small things that even I can do mistake if I am in rush. So it's the daughter who does not come, but son lives nearby. So Mr. is having one son who lives nearby. Same line. Same line. Nothing to worry. Who lives nearby and a daughter who lives in Melbourne. So basically we want to tell that there is nobody who is nearby and son is nearby. But the major thing is that daughter who visits infrequently, who visits rarely. So this is the only word I have modified. Ab yahan pe. So these are the two people he has. He is having Alzheimer's. Ab having two bar achha nahi lagta, ek bar use kar liya, so he is suffering from. So I keep on changing my words. Small things. Done. Then you want to 100% deaf and 60%. You can write that. You can avoid that. If you want to write, that's fine. He needs assistance with showering, eating, toileting, occasionally aggressive, uncompetitive, especially near, especially regarding showering. So you are just talking about the general habits of the patient. So he needs assistance with this and this thing. He is deaf. So you can simply write it as a part of. He aggressive. He occasionally becomes aggressive. He occasionally. I'm just picking line according to my convenience. There is no problem if you miss this line or you write this line. He occasionally becomes aggressive and uncooperative uh, while re uh, especially regarding aggressive and uncooperative especially while showering. So I'm just tell telling because the patient has to stay there. Why am I writing this point? Because I want to tell about the patient because we have told the doctor that patient should not return. So if the patient is going to stay in the hospital, so these people are going to provide the shower, other services. So they must know that he does not recognize anyone and he's having Alzheimer's. And at the same time, he's little uncooperative at times and becomes especially shower. He is hundred percent deaf. Hundred percent deaf in left ear and 60% in right ear. Again, if you do not write this line, it does not make a difference. So don't panic. Don't panic, please. Now nursing management. So means nursing management means the management we have done after the infection. So patient has had increased. So don't write anything. So Mr. Newton, yeah, he was given simple. He was given, you are providing a piece of information. What did you do? In the last 48 hours, since the time he has been vomiting, how long? 48 hours of vomiting and dehydration. First, I can also write over dehydration. Dehydration. Let's take it. He was so now he's suspected with salmonella due to which he's having dehydration. I want to write this, sorry, owing to again, owing to means due to due to owing to vomiting and diarrhea since last 48 hours. So that I want to tell he, this has happened because otherwise I will not find the space to write it. So basically he's having dehydration as a result of 48 hours of vomiting. So otherwise you can say uh, suspected solvent poisoning if you want to make simple and he is dehydrated due to he, you can write, write the same line. Sorry if I have made it complex. So you can write the same and he is dehydrated as a result of 48 hours of vomiting. Same, same day as a result of 48 hours of vomiting. And if you want to change it a little, obviously it is better. But again, this is the safest thing. You are safe. 
So I did not change anything. He now he is suspected of salmonella poisoning and he is dehydrated as a result of 48 hours of vomiting and death. So he was given. I am now I am giving information on nursing management. He has increased for the last 48 hours. Imodium ad was given four hourly. Panadol 200 mg was given for stomach pain. Yeah, this we can later write. Medication for high blood pressure is not important. We can write it later. So these three things are important. Patient has no appetite for the last and has lost. Now simple information. He was given increased fluids. So now we are done. So he has been given increased fluids. And Imodium was given at four hour intervals. Now make it simple. And Imodium was given at four hour intervals. So don't worry, was given now passive voice at four hour intervals. Then you can talk about these two things. It's simple. You don't have to write about anything like sleep, apnea, this and don't write too much. So if you want to skip any point, you can write it or skip it. Memorize, he takes Memorex for this, Alzheimer's and this. We can write it later on. If you want to save the words, you can write it over here. So he's having... BP and Alzheimer's for which he takes medication. So don't write the name of the medication. If you want to write, that is also not a problem. He, he takes medication which need to be continued as per the prescription. So I am saving my data. I am trying to control my word count. So this I do not need. This is all done. Patient uses walking frame but bed written for last five days. Yeah, this is not important. Suffers from sleep apnea, not important. Nothing is important. So that's fine. If you want to write allergic about fish, you can write it. Otherwise, that's fine. That is what I'm telling you about OET letters. These are very simple. The major chunk of the marks are in the first and the last paragraphs. So the only advice again and again would be to make OET the easiest test of the world by writing only the things you want to. First and the last paragraph are the most important. These two paragraphs, you can skip one or two lines. Even if I skip this line, it does not make a difference. It does not make a difference. I can simply say Mr. Newton is suffering from Alzheimer's. And medication, I can write over here, suffering from Alzheimer's. So it does not recognize medication. Anyone, he takes medication for this condition. Medication ka naam sakte ho for this. And also he is having BP for which he takes this. So you yahan pe aap mention kar sakte ho. That is not a problem. You can manage this data. So this is kind of a data of a medical history, if you will realize. This Memorex for Alzheimer's, ye normally let hai. It is a data of medical history. So you can pick up this data and get, take it forward. And then you have again this data also. Hepatol also you can write in the medical history itself. This you can write in the later part, in the third paragraph. Ki he was given this, Imodium was given, Panadol was given. He has lost four cages in the three cages due to the lack of appetite. So you, you can write all these points. And then again, rest is pretty much okay. So this is how simply and total minute we have taken in talking all about all this letter. And to write all this thing is 20 minutes. That's it. That is what OET needs. Overall, 20 minutes of letter writing and you will pass. Please listen to this video again. Subscribe this channel right now. And we assure you that listening to this video two, three times will give you more confidence of how to write the discharge plan. So please listen to it again and again. In the one go, you only feel it's good. But if you really want to be good, then you have to listen to it again. Thank you. This is Dr. Bupesh from Dr. BKM Institutes. Thank you very much.